Get ready for a Blux experience. Smash subscribe. Love ya. First thing I notice is the interior is really quiet. It's well sealed. And the ride is smooth. To be honest, it doesn't really feel like a prototype. Got the nice lighting in the interior. The seats are comfortable actually. So in real time, it updates as we're moving throughout the, the whole thing. Here's our progress bar there. Got all the model Y's and X's and stuff synced up. Probably isn't the most eventful for those watching online, but this is sweet to experience in person. Literally years in the making. Obviously, we're still years away from production, but still, it's a step closer. A lot of leg room up front. It doesn't feel jittery. It doesn't feel too hesitant around the corners. Braking isn't too strong. Of course, they've been mapping this for a while, but still, it's a smooth ride. It feels as if a human is driving. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. So it didn't let us select some of the destinations on the map. And I assume that's because there were already enough cyber cabs potentially going there. There's various different drop off points around Warner Brothers that you can go to. And you can take multiple rides if you want. And we're just about here. So you can stop the ride. Oh, and there it is. We're getting out. Boom. There we go. Thanks for following along. If you like truthful news and wonderful facts, subscribe to Blux News. We're independent and place us somewhere between CNN and Fox. Simply the truth.